with Executive Errands. I've been here six years. I'm a senior concierge and trainer of all the new employees. We're going to show you a basic home check and a portion of what we do for our homes and our clients. So when you get to a house, you want to make sure you have the profile and the keys and you want to make sure you know the client has an alarm and if they do, you should know the alarm code before you get to the front door. As you're walking up, you want to be checking roofs to make sure there's no tiles missing or falling on the ground. You're checking the landscape here, but this is all HOA. So we would notify the HOA if we saw an issue. As you're walking to the front door, you're still checking the windows and the roofs. You're checking the landscape. You're checking for leaks. Executive errands. Always announce yourself in case there's a client that forgot to tell you they're coming in. We put our stuff down in the middle of the room. Usually we start in the kitchen. You want to check the profile for any special tasks that we have with this client. So you review the profile. If there's anything highlighted in it, you want to make sure you address it. And then you take out your iPad and your towel and you wanna check for tasks for each client that you go to. You're also checking your email to make sure you've responded to clients in a uh, timely manner. And you pull up your activity report, the form itself, and you would put in your client's name and check off home care, and then you would start your home check. First thing you do is you turn on the water, turn on the garbage disposal, and check under for leaks. Let it run about 30 seconds. Shut it off. You want to make sure the water goes into the drain so that we don't get bugs. Shut it off and wipe out your sinks. Then you pick a wall. You stay on the wall and you follow it through the house so you miss nothing. You're gonna check all of the doors and windows to make sure they're locked. As you're going through a home, you're also checking the ceilings to make sure there's no leaks, no broken windows, doors are locked. You can also check the patio while you're doing this and uh, before you go outside. You're also checking the furniture to make sure there's no bugs underneath the count underneath the seat or uh, I'm sorry underneath the sofas under the tables you're still following the wall turn on the lights make sure the thermostats are set to what the client requested this one happens to be 80 which it shows on there you're still on the same wall so you're turning on the lights you flush the toilet first which takes longer to stop running. By the time it stops running, you should be done with your water check in the, in the sink. Again, you're checking for leaks. And you can never leave a room while the water's running. So we're draining the sink. They have, this particular client has beads in their sink, so it takes a little longer to drain. And again, you're gonna wipe out the sink. And we wait for the toilet to stop running before you leave the room. Checking ceilings, making sure our leaks, no leaks. Water stop, you can go down to the next room. There's a laundry room. You just check inside. Some have sinks, some do not. And we will go to the master bathroom. Hey, okay, we're in the master bathroom. You want to check. Make sure there's no bugs in the closets. So you open up every door. And we're still on a wall, so you're gonna flush the toilet. We're gonna turn on the sinks. And we're gonna turn on the shower. And then we come back and turn off the waters. And again, you're going to check to make sure there's no leaks.
and wipe them out. And then we'll turn on this tub. And again, you want to wipe out the tubs. And we are done. Make sure you turn off the lights. Okay, so when we go outside, you want to make sure you go out the same door every time so that we don't risk leaving other doors unlocked. So when you check outside, I always want to make sure you have the client's key in your hand so that you don't get locked out. You want to go and take a wall and you want to follow it around. So when you get to a grill, you want to make sure there's no gas leak so you kind of smell what's going on here. When you're checking the outside water you want to turn these faucets on real quick to make sure there's no leaking going on you follow it around and you're always checking for ants fire ants different kind of hole they don't have a hole on the top of the ant pile so you'll know the difference back here is the uh, pool equipment with the pool equipment you want to make sure there's no leaking you want to make sure it's pretty quiet Otherwise, there's going to be an issue. You call the pool technician to come and check. You're checking for landscape, for issues in the landscape, maybe dead plants in the summer. Um, there's a little extra water, but I believe this is from the rain. And you're just walking around. You're checking the pool to make sure it's clean and clear. You always want to check the water. Uh, levels and you want to check the temperature to make sure that the pool hasn't been left on or there's no heat coming from the spot. And you're also checking the roof as you're walking by to make sure the tiles are on and there's no issues. And then once you're done outside you go back in the same door that you came out. Okay, so now that we've done our home check, you want to come to your iPad and you want to pull up the activity report and you want to check off everything that applies to this client as indicated in your profile. So you check off everything, which is also a good check for, um, to make sure you've done everything that you're checking off. If you didn't and you come across it, then you want to go back and do it. Um, anything extra that is in the profile, you want to put into your boxes and you will check off, continue to check off. You have interior and exterior. Uh, you have potential problems, which we've already checked for. And then at the bottom, you want to say the last thing you say is that you secured the home or you set the alarm upon departure and there's no issues noted or there were issues noted, whichever applies. You save it. And then you go to enter your time. And the activity report, when you save it, it time stamps the time that you ended. So what you do is in your time entry, you would go to that portion of the time entry and you would put in the start time for that home. And then you would put in how long it took you. So you would add that in and then you would save it. So let me do that for you real quick right here. and you save it and we're done. So when you're done with the home and you've done your activity report and your time entry, make sure you gather up all of your belongings, your profile especially, make sure you still have the key. You wanna listen for any water that still may be running that you may have missed. You wanna make sure all the lights are off. And you secure the home. Double check and make sure your home is locked. Go 
which it is. And that is basically an uh, overview of what we do for home techs. It is not the same for every client. Every client has their own specific needs and they are all in the profiles.